Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would tape a get ready with me again because I was sitting down to do a favorites of yarn and knitting things and I thought again, well, if I'm gonna sit down and put makeup on, I may as well just turn the camera on. Uh, so anyway, so I decided in this one that I thought it'd be fun to focus on one brand, which is Hourglass. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. <laughs> So I thought I would do this Get Ready With Me video and focus on just one brand and I picked Hourglass Cosmetics because I've accumulated quite a few of their things and I realized that I pretty much had a full face of all their items. Um, there's a few things that you'll see pop up during the video that I don't have like eyeshadow primer um, or setting powder um, or mascara um, but m I would say 95% of the things that I'm going to use today is from Hourglass. I'm going to start with the Veil Mineral Primer. I've already washed and moisturized my face. I'm going to apply this to uh, most of my face. It's a very slippery kind of primer so I'm just going to put that sort of uh, sparingly all over So I think this primer is great if you have a little bit of um, texture on your skin and maybe you want your foundation to just sort of glide over it instead of clinging onto it. Um, so I like it for that. So I'm going to go in with the Vanish Seamless Stick Foundation next. I have the color Shell and I'm just going to apply it directly to my face. Do a few stripes on my cheeks, one on my chin, one down my nose. Maybe two on my forehead, maybe under under my eyes a little bit. We'll start there. And next I'm going to use the foundation brush that was released at the same time as this um, stick foundation, and I believe it's meant to be used with it. So I'm going to start here. So in my last um, haul video, I, um, I had hauled this brush and, and that um, stick foundation, and I was actually wearing the foundation in the in the video and I had mentioned that I was not sure how I felt about it because it did seem to be clinging on to my um, dryer patches um, kind of between my eyebrows and on my forehead but I got a lot of really nice comments about how my makeup looked really nice in that video so um, I thought I would give it another shot and I am hoping that the the uh, primer that I use the veil mineral primer will kind of help um, help with those dry patches that I have So I'm taking a close look here and I do think that I think that the primer did really help. I don't see it really clinging that badly anywhere. Or I tend to have um, dry patches like around my mouth and sometimes on my chin. I don't see any bad clinging at all. But this foundation has a really lovely finish. It's not matte, it's not um, too glowy, it's really just very um, skin-like. This brush is great too. I like it. I like how it's dense but not too dense. You know, it moves the product around but it doesn't just move it around. Do you get my drift? <laughs> so I don't have any concealer from Hourglass. So I'm going to use my new NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have it in vanilla. And I like to just use my ring finger in the pot and dab that under my eyes. This concealer really surprised me. When I saw the word matte, I was really afraid that it was going to be um, just drying and cakey, but it's it's not. It's actually very, very comfortable under my eyes. All right, so next I'm going to use um, a powder to set all of that, and I like to use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Um, I have a lot of powders from Hourglass, but they're all very... Um, glowy <laughs> uh, when I just want to set my concealer I don't need I don't need that much glow okay so concealer is set I'm going to use some Urban Decay eyeshadow primer I'm just going to put that on now so it's set by the time I want to use my eyeshadow so I'm going to go ahead and set my foundation with um, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light which has been my go-to powder for the ever since I bought it about a month and a half ago now. So I'm going to just use a really fluffy, super old <laughs> Armani brush and just brush that all over. 
I just love the glow that that powder gives my skin. So next, I'm going to use the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. I actually brought this bronzer a while ago, and it actually took me a while to, <laughs> to warm up to it, pardon the pun. And um, now I just, I really, really enjoy it. I thought it was too orangey when I first started using it, and it's definitely a warm bronzer, but I like the, uh, I like the tone now. Always got to bring it down the neck. That's it for uh, bronzer. I'm going to use the Ambient Lighting Edit Surreal Light Palette. Such long names. Um, I'm going to use the Strobe Powder in here as a highlight. It's a very gold um, highlight, but on occasion, I like it. This is another one of Hourglass's products that I just adore. I think people had issue with this because obviously it doesn't address many skin tones. Um, I find myself lucky that it works on mine, and the bronzer in here is like a blush, so I just don't even consider that it has a bronzer in here. I think that it has three blushes, one highlighter, one sort of setting powder, and, um, and, and, and that's good for me. So I just highlight like the top portion of my face. So that's it for highlighter and I'm going to use, this has been another one of my favorites, I'm going to use the uh, Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush Palette. And I love the nude color and I, you know, I love all the colors. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to use the angled brush today. Maybe I'll use the more purpley color on the right. Maybe I want a little pop of color um, right in the center here. I'm going to use the, uh, the bright pink blush in the, uh, the big palette. And put that right, right on the apples of my cheeks. Alright, so I'm going to do my brows. I am using the Hourglass. Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Soft Brunette. This has been my go-to uh, pencil ever since I got it about, about a, a month and a half ago. I just like the formula. I think it's um, it's like waxy and hard enough so that you know you don't really end up drawing anything too dark and scary. Okay, eyebrows done, so let's move into eyeshadow. So I have two palettes in front of me. I have Exposure and Graphite, and these are the Hourglass Modernist um, eyeshadow palettes. Uh, so I'm going to use the kind of light, the light brow bone color from um, the Graphite palette, the one up here, and just put that all over my lid. This is a good match for my skin tone. So this is a great um, base layer for me. So I'm just putting that from you know my eyelashes to my eyebrows. I'm gonna use this um, exposure palette. Is it called exposure? Yeah, this exposure palette um, because because of the blush that I use. Now I'm feeling more of like a cooler like a cooler toned look. So let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and use the shade um, at the bottom here um, from the Exposure palette. I'm going to use uh, another fluffy brush, one that's clean though. And oh, this looks, this looks darker than I remember. Let's see. So I've had this um, this exposure palette for quite some time. I just haven't used it. Um, I've been really loving like warm eyeshadow colors and so I just haven't been reaching for it and then I just purchased the graphite one. Um, but this, I'm liking this. So no fallout so far. Uh, I'm going to take another fluffy brush and um, sort of blend that out a little bit more, especially around the edges. Make sure it's blended well. I'm going to use a flatter shadow brush and dip into the um, second from the top color here, the darker plummy color, and sort of darken up that crease a bit. Just 
just put it, I'm sort of just putting it like right over my eyeball. And I'm just going back and forth, making sure I'm blending that in. And then I'm just bringing it down a little bit along my outer corner to give that some depth. And again, I'm going to take that clean, um, fluffy brush and just sort of make sure that's all blended in nicely. I'm going to use the center shade here. I'm going to pack that all over the lid. And I'm just sort of pressing that onto the center of my lid here. And I'm going to blend that out also. So I feel like the color got a little bit muddy in there, so I'm going to take this darker color and try and um, add a little bit more dimension to the shadow here. Maybe in the outer corner here. So I'm taking, I'm sorry, so I'm taking this darker color, this fourth one down. And I'm going to add it to the outer corner here along my lash line. And then I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Just darken that outer corner a bit. Let me just soften those edges a little bit. I'm going to take the um, that original color that I used from the graphite palette, this light color, I'm going to use that to sort of blend out these edges a bit. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to add a little bit of shadow on my lower lash line um, just to kind of give it a little bit of balance. So I'm going to use the, the darkest color from um, the exposure palette and just use a kind of a lighter brush and I usually just like to focus on the outer corner maybe to the middle of my eyeball um, and that's it if I go all the way around I just feel like it makes my eyes look very heavy um, droopy all right so let's do some mascara so I don't have any um, I don't have any hourglass mascara so I have um, I've been using the Tarte Lifted Mascara, which I really enjoy. So I'm just going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes and put mascara on. Alright, eyes done. And I think all I have left is lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and use my brand new Hourglass Girl Lip Stylo in the color Achiever. This is the newest one that I bought. And I love it. I just love it. And that's it. That's the finished look. I hope you enjoy this Get Ready With Me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed and you would like to, please subscribe with the button below. Or I may have a floating head of myself <laughs> somewhere on the screen. You can click that to subscribe. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.